it all started at the end of my sophomore year of high school. I knew I wanted to use my summer in the best way possible. I wanted to use that time wisely. And I knew I was interested in medical and I knew I needed to get experience. So the best way that I found to get experience was actually volunteering at my local hospital, which was St. Elizabeth. This is a really important question that I did want to address because of course if you're going to do something you want to know a little bit going in what you're going to do. So when you volunteer at a hospital it really depends on what unit or department you pick. For me it was labor and delivery so I had different trainings, you know, different skills that I had to learn and there are tasks that you have, you have to complete every day especially if you're in, you know, like labor delivery but you know when you're in let's say uh, gift shop for example you're going to have different you know, retail you're going to have like your social skills we're going to cash register and it's a lot different than labor and delivery because you're just there's just different demands that each unit or department needs i do want to start this off by i will link everything after this it'll pop up on the screen but i'll also link it under the video just to make it easier on you guys but I do want to say first that it is competitive to become a volunteer at St. Elizabeth just because there are many opportunities and a lot of people want to take advantage of those. So I will say that you need to pay attention to your deadlines, make sure you get everything you need, either whether that is your recommendations, you know, you do have to have certain vaccinations or get TB tested before you can go into the field. Even if it's just something simple as, like I said before, the gift shop. Um, another fun fact is that there you can work multiple things. You can do, say if you're interested in ICU, but you think you might also be interested in ER, you can work both. You can maybe do one on Tuesday, one on Thursday, one on Monday, one on Wednesday. They definitely will work with you and whatever day works best for you and times. You can work one hour, you can work four hours, but four is definitely like their max. Um, but there is three sessions, and I do not quote me on this, but there is some during school, there's definitely some during the summers, but it is different. Summer hours are different than during school, uh, but there's three sessions that you can apply for. You, can, you have to apply for each session going in, but like I said before, you when you are already a volunteer, when it comes to next session, you'll get an email if you have first dibs of what department you want to go into and what times. But if not, you kind of just got to fit in where someone's not. I will, but like I said, it is competitive. You do have trainings and classes you have to go to. You do have to have recommendation forms. I'm trying to see if I for, I'm forgetting anything. Um, I would definitely use recommendation form from maybe a teacher. Um, I, def I use, I believe, one of my like leadership uh, professors that I had. Um, just pick just pick good recommendations. I wouldn't just pick like my mother. I don't even think you can. They can't be related to you. That could be like a teacher or something like that. Um, but yeah, and if you do think about doing this, I wish you guys the best of luck. If I didn't answer your questions or you're still confused about something, please, please leave a comment or I have my email too. Um, just contact me and to my best ability I will try to explain to you or answer your questions. We're all learning this together and I'm. this is just from my personal experience that I wish I knew before I had time and I just want to share that with you so maybe you could better prepare yourself. But volunteering is definitely at a hospital is a great experience and you don't just have to do St. Elizabeth. I know that there's not St. Elizabeth everywhere. And I know different states and everything have different, you know, requirements. I know for in Muncie at Ball Memorial, you have to be like 18. Um, St. Elizabeth wasn't like that. I did it when I just turned 17. Um, they do have people at the age of 16. I know there's different requirements, different, you know, trainings that you have to do. But I encourage you to look, check this out. Check St. Elizabeth out and their volunteering opportunities. But not just at your own local hospital. But it's just a great opportunity. Because in that time, like, of course I had, you know, a list of tasks that I had to complete. But after that, I got to shadow the nurses. I got to shadow the doctors. And I will show you some pictures and everything. But in videos that I have, I got to go into ERs. I got to see two C-sections. I also got to be a part of seven births. I had six... I was, there were six baby girls and my last day I have one baby boy. And just being a part of that and just seeing that and just being, you know, a part of, you know, that birthing process, being a part of the team, you know, making it happen, you know, 
even if it's something simple as handing them something or setting up at the table like everything is such appreciated and I'm not promised that this will always happen at different hospitals but again my personal experience this happened to me and it greatly changed on where I want to go and what field I want to go into and this is why I preach it so much and encourage other high school students even college students to just check out volunteer at your local hospital and the thing I love about St. Elizabeth you're at 16 to however older you can volunteer and that is all I have for you guys thank you for watching this video I really appreciate it and again any questions concerns please reach out to me leave a comment and let me know what else you guys want to see or talk about and just I can make videos so okay thank you guys